So today we'll get started in Matsyasana or supported fish pose. You'll take your blocks and create a T shape at the back of your mat. And then we'll come and we'll place our shoulder blades on that closest block to us and then our head on the back block. Starting to open up the chest here, letting the arms fall onto the sides of the mat. Maybe even closing down the eyes. In life, we often find ourselves comparing ourselves to one another, whether it be in person, on social media, or at work. But when we compare ourselves to others, we tend to make ourselves feel bad, and we forget to have compassion for ourselves. And it also dismisses everything good that we have in our own lives. So as we practice here today, just remind yourself that you are enough and who you are is unique and no one can ever take that away from you. If you'd like, you can set an intention here for today's practice. Slowly blink open the eyes. And we'll move any props that you have out of your way. And then we'll all come to boat pose, creating a V shape of the body, engaging the core. Exhale, coming to half boat pose. Inhale, back up to boat. Exhale, half boat. Inhale, boat for three, two, and one. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. We'll cross the shin bones, rolling over the shins, and we'll come into our tabletop position. Forward and back, warm up the wrists. Come back to center and then we'll turn the hands so the fingertips face the outside of the mat. We'll gently rock from side to side. Thread the needle. 
option to straighten that left arm out towards the front of the mat. Or you can come into a half bind by rotating the arm around the spine, grabbing onto the right hip crease. If you want to challenge yourself this morning, you can extend that right, uh, the left leg, and then lift it up, finding balance here. position, you can bring the left leg back down to the mat, unraveling the left arm, inhale the right arm up, exhale, plant it back down, inhale the left arm up, exhale, thread it underneath the right, bringing the left side of the face to the mat, option to straighten that right arm towards the front of the mat, or taking that half bind by wrapping it around the spine, grabbing onto the left hip crease. Again, option to challenge yourself by straightening that right leg this time, and then lifting it up, finding balance here. that right leg back to the mat if you were balancing. Unraveling the right arm. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, planting it back down. Push back into our first downward facing dog. Making sure to pedal out the feet. Straightening one leg at a time. into your expression of downward facing dog. We'll inhale to walk the feet towards the front of the mat. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Bringing the feet together, we'll inhale up to Utkatasana chair pose. Really bringing that belly button in towards the back of the spine. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha. Exhale, plant the hands, step both feet back, and we'll take our first vinyasa here. We'll inhale to rock forward. Exhale, bend the arms, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale to up dog, work cobra. Exhale, pushing it back into downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up and back. Exhale, plant the foot in between the hands. And engaging the core, we'll slowly rise up into our high crescent lunge. Keeping the arms nice and strong by the ears. Exhale the hands back to the front of the mat. Step the right foot back to meet the left and take a vinyasa. Inhale to walk the feet back towards the front of the mat. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Bringing the feet together. Inhale, coming into Utkatasana in chair pose once again. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift, keeping a nice flat spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step both feet back, and take a vinyasa. Inhale, the left leg up and back. Exhale, plant the foot at the front of the mat. Engaging the core, slowly rise up into that high crescent lunge. Exhale, plant the hands to the front of the mat. Step the left foot back to meet the right. And take a vinyasa. 
Inhale the right leg up and back. Exhale, plant the foot in between the hands. We'll pivot that back foot so it's parallel to the back of the mat. Rising up into our Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. Keeping the arms in the T-shape. The gaze is over the right middle finger. We'll inhale to flip the front palm. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, and then exhale to cartwheel the arms back to the front of the mat. Step the right foot back to meet the left and take a vinyasa.
inhale that left leg up and back exhale plant the foot in between the hands coming back up into our warrior two position exhale to place that left hand on the mat inside of the left leg taking a half bind here by bringing that right arm around the spine grabbing onto the left hip crease or taking the full bind by bringing that left arm underneath the left leg clasping the hands by the base of the spine One big inhale and then exhale to release the bind. Plant the hands towards the front of the mat. We'll exhale to push that left leg all the way back, coming into our three-legged our one-legged dog. And we'll take our one-legged vinyasa here.
chest through towards the front of the mat. Twisting open to the left this time, 
And as you exhale, we'll hook that right elbow onto the left knee, coming into a twisted chair pose. We'll shift the weight into that left foot this time. And as you exhale, we'll push that right leg back, coming into a twisted lunge. Inhale to untwist yourself. Exhale, planting the hands towards the front of the mat. Step the left foot back to meet the right and take a vinyasa. facing dog. Inhale to wrap forward. Exhale, take a vinyasa. Inhale to walk the feet towards the front of the mat. This time we'll grab our strap with the right hand. We'll shift the weight into the right foot, lifting the left leg up, keeping the knee nice and bent, bringing the knee in to our chest as close as you can. We'll bring the left arm inside of the left leg, wrapping the arm around that knee bringing the right arm around our spine, trying to catch that strap with the left hand, coming into our flamingo pose on the second side, keeping the chest nice and open here. Inhale the arms 
up and over the head. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plant the hands, step both feet back, and we'll take our last vinyasa here. From our down dog, we'll all make ourselves make our way into a seated position towards the middle of the mat.
inhale to slowly rise back up. We'll come to the center of our mat, lifting our legs up, coming back into that boat pose. And we'll exhale to slowly release all the way back down, flat on our backs for five, four, three, two, and one. Release all the way down. We'll bring our feet flat on the mat. Inhale the right leg up, externally rotating that hip, bringing the ankle onto the left knee. We'll bring the arms to cactus. And on your end, next exhale, we'll let the legs fall to the right side of the mat, bringing the gaze to the left side of the room for a supine twist. If you'd like, you can close down the eyes here. Inhale the legs back up to center, uncrossing the ankle. We'll switch sides, bringing the left ankle to the right knee. Exhale to drop the legs towards the left side of the room, bringing the gaze to the right side, maybe closing down the eyes once again. you need here before setting up into your Shavasana. When you're ready, we'll let the legs lay long on the mat. We'll push the back of our head into the mat, lifting the chest, rolling the shoulder blades together, and then releasing back down. The arms splay wide on the mat. some nice deep breaths here. And then letting the body be still. start to bring gentle movements back into the body and wiggling the fingers and the toes and rolling out the wrists and the ankles making sure to go in both directions We'll inhale the arms up and over the head, taking a nice good morning stretch. Exhale, 
Bring the knees in towards the chest, giving yourself a nice hug. We'll roll onto our right side body, coming into a fetal position. Eyes closed. We'll push off that left hand, coming into a seated position. Inhale the arms up and over the head. Exhale, bring them to the prayer. I chose flamingo pose as our peak pose tonight because flamingos represent releasing your emotions and letting them be your guide in life. Flamingos often also symbolize fun and relaxation. And I felt like that was a good reminder, bringing it back to comp not comparing ourselves to others. As you leave class here today, remind yourself to have fun. And be easy on yourself. The light in me honors the light in each and every one of you. Namaste.